Hey everyone, in this topic I'm going to explain type defs and type aliases. Now type def is a reserved keyword used to create an additional name for another data type. Kind of like a nickname. It's a new identifier for an existing type. One of the reasons that people use type def is that it helps with readability and reduces typos. Here's an example. In this example I'll need to include this header file. Include vector. Suppose we have this very long data type. And I would like to give it a nickname, an alias. I would type the keyword type def, then list the original data type. So we're used to strings, ints, doubles. Well, here's a really complicated one. And of course, I don't expect anybody to know this at this level yet. Standard vector standard pair standard string int. So this is one really long data type. This could be a data type for a pair list, but I don't want to have to type all of this. So what I could do is give this data type an alias using this type def keyword. After the original data type, I'll come up with a new name, a new identifier. Let's say pair list. That's a lot easier to write than all of this for the data type. A common convention when using the type def keyword the new identifier usually ends with underscore t for type. Now suppose I declare a variable of this data type. Standard vector, standard pair, standard string int. Let's say the name is pair list. In place of using the original data type, we can use the new identifier. Pair list underscore t. So that's one of the main benefits of using the type def keyword we can give a new identifier to an existing data type. It helps with code readability and helps reduce typos. This data type is way beyond our level of understanding right now. Let's try some simple examples. I'll turn this line into a comment, then get rid of that. Let's create a type def for standard strings. Type def, then we list the original data type, standard string, in place of using standard string as the data type, I'll create a new identifier for this data type as maybe just text, text underscore T. If I need to create a string, I could use this new identifier in place of saying standard string, then maybe first name. I can replace the data type with the new identifier if I choose to, text T. And I'll set my first name equal to whatever my first name is. Feel free to set it to your own first name. And this variable behaves exactly like a string. So let's display it. Standard output first name. And then we should have our first name. Yeah, there we are. Okay, now let's try this with an integer. Type def, we list the old data type, int. Let's create an identifier for int as number. That's more descriptive underscore t, although it's more to write technically. In place of using the int data type, I could use number t, and this is technically an integer. Uh, let's say age, then make up some age. Standard output, I will display my age, then I will add a new line. Yep, we have our first name and our age. Now, type def has largely been replaced with the using keyword. That's because the using keyword works better with templates, which is a topic for another video. So in place of using type def, I recommend using the using keyword. So I'm going to turn these lines into comments. Now, if we were to use the using keyword, we would type using, then the new data type. So let's say text t equals the old data type, standard string. Then let's do that with number. Using the new identifier, number t equals int. And that would work the same. We have our first name and our age. The using keyword is more popular than type def nowadays just because it's more suitable for templates. And like I said, that's a topic for another video. All right, everybody, that is the type def keyword and type aliases. Type def, along with the using keyword, they're used to create an additional name, an alias, or nickname, for another data type. 
it's a new identifier for an existing data type. It helps with readability, and it reduces typos. However, you should really only be using the type def and using keywords when there is a clear benefit. So yeah, that is type defs and type aliases. Your assignment is to post a type def in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are type defs and type aliases in C++.